October is setting up to be a flurry of flagship smartphone announcements. We are on the eve of an exciting month crammed with new smartphones from Chinese manufacturers, and Samsung isn't sitting on the sidelines. The Korean tech titan is apparently bringing out a special edition of the Galaxy Z Fold 6. If that launch transpires as scheduled, we will see a total of six flagship smartphones making their debut this month. The speculation says that October will showcase Honor Magic 7 Series, Vovo X200 Series, <laughs> Xiaomi 15 Series, Oppo Find X8 Series, OnePlus 13, and finally the powerful Z Fold 6 Special Edition. With so many phones planning to launch their next high-end smartphones, October is poised to be a heated fight for attention. This makes me wonder, in the middle of all this enthusiasm, will Samsung's next foldable seize the focus, or will the flood of new flagship phones steal the show? Our major emphasis, the unique edition. We know that Samsung is working on a special edition Galaxy foldable, albeit no official information have been disclosed yet. However, an ex-user provided a screenshot from a Korean shop, T-Store, showing the expected pre-order date for the smartphone. The picture from the shop reveals that the pre-order period will continue until October 24, 2024, with pre-orders presumably commencing on October 18. Delivery is planned to commence on October 25. More crucially, the graphic shows the phone's name as the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition, not Galaxy Z Fold special edition, as revealed by earlier leaks. So the gadget still looks to be a part of Samsung's sixth generation foldable range. However, as this information originates from a third party source, it may not be totally accurate. It's better to take it with a grain of salt. It might also be that it's not the special edition phone we've been anticipating of Samsung, since a special edition branded Galaxy Z Fold 6 emerged on the Samsung India website which really is an enterprise Galaxy Z Fold 6. Samsung recently labeled it special edition on their Indian site, which may create a misunderstanding. While we are still left without any official data from Samsung's side, leaks have presented a render of the foldable with a bigger camera island on the rear compared to the standard fold. The camera module has a squircle form instead of the conventional oval. The remainder of the design looks to follow Samsung's regular flair. The power button, presumably serving as a fingerprint sensor, is on the right side, with the volume rocker positioned above it. The back panel has a brushed metal look, unlike the matte finish of the Fold 6, albeit it might be textured glass engineered to seem like metal. It is touted to be the slimmest Galaxy Z Fold yet. This special edition is said to contain a bigger 8-inch inside display and a 6.5-inch cover screen on the exterior. When closed, it is intended to measure only 10.6 mm thick, while opening it displays a slim 4.9 mm profile. To put things in perspective, the normal Galaxy Z Fold 6 is 12.1 mm when folded and 5.6 mm when unfurled. So the special edition will undoubtedly be smaller, putting itself more competitively alongside competitors like the Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold and the Honor Magic V3, which presently holds the distinction for the smallest book-style foldable. The Pixel 9 Pro Fold is 10.5 mm thick when folded and 5.1 mm when unfurled. Honor Magic V3 features measures of 9.2 mm when folded and 4.35 mm when unfurled. So, although the new Z Fold could be the smallest in its series, it will still be significantly bulkier than its top rivals. However, it's anticipated to provide a more attractive look compared to its sister, which is a big selling feature. But will this be enough to lure attention away from other flagship phones, even those in the foldable category? That's a difficult decision. The future flagships may provide greater specifications as you are going to witness and may be reduced costs. Still, they're starting primarily in China for now, with a worldwide rollout to come later. This provides Samsung a possible ace up its sleeve, availability. The rumors flying about these gadgets have formed a fairly fascinating picture, indicating we're in for some genuine powerhouses. For starters, it appears like all these expected flagships will be powered by new chipsets yet to be launched. The OnePlus 13, Honor Magic 7 series, and Xiaomi 15 series are believed to use the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 under the hood. Meanwhile, the Oppo Find X8 series and Vivo X200 series are rumored to arrive with MediaTek's forthcoming Dimensity 9400 processor, 
which just established a record for the best Antutu benchmark score ever obtained by an Android phone. My argument here is simple. These devices will be carrying some substantial speed, exceeding the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 predicted in Samsung's Special Edition foldable. When it comes to battery life, the 2017 flagships are jumping on a new trend, the 6000 mAh trend. But that's not all they have in common. Each is believed to include telescopic cameras with amazing zoom capabilities, at least on paper. Plus, they're likely to have a number of premium specifications, including an IP68 certification for rigorous dust and mortar resistance, with speculations that OnePlus could even go a step further, aiming for an IP69 rating, generally reserved for industrial-grade equipment meant to handle severe conditions. Around 100-watt wired-charging OLED screens with a minimum refresh rate of 120 Hz, Android 15 RAM beginning from 12 gigs. Of course, many information are still under wraps, and we'll have to wait to see whether these claimed specifications hold up. If they do, October's flagships will surely be impossible to overlook. With so many similarities, determining which item would emerge above the others is tough. This is where time, promotion, pricing, and availability come into play. Right now, Samsung may have the advantage solely in terms of availability, which shouldn't be overlooked. While the new flagships from OnePlus, Honor, Oppo, Vivo, and Xiaomi may claim higher specifications and cheaper pricing, they won't enter global markets until later, with some even coming next year. So, Samsung's plan to debut the Z Fold 6 Special Edition this month might prove to be a clever move, enabling it to take some focus from the competitors. But October has only started off, so we'll soon see how this all plays out. Until then, I'm curious. Which do you think will take the attention? Samsung's next foldable or the wave of flagship phones on the horizon? One of the greatest speculations surrounding the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition or Z Fold Slim is that it won't feature S Pen functionality. Allegedly due to Samsung removing the digitizer layer from the display to cut some additional thickness off the phone. But it seems like this may not be the case after all. Ice Universe, a renowned leaker of Samsung secrets, has denied this revelation over on X with a simple remark that the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition still supports S Pen. They don't go into any explanation regarding the rumor or how the S Pen will operate with the Z Fold SE only that it will. So what does this mean? Well, it might be that the claims Samsung will remove the digitizer were unfounded, which occurs occasionally and would be a great illustration of why we shouldn't place too much confidence in pre-launch rumors there's always a chance that utterly incorrect. However, Ross Young, display expert jumped in on X with a view that Samsung was still deleting the digitizer to reduce on costs and thickness. As Young points out, this means Samsung would have to discover a new method for the S Pen to operate on the Z Fold SE's internal display. As to how Samsung could be intending on giving S Pen functionality without the digitizer, your guess is as good as ours. We're not display engineers, and it's the type of issue left to professionals with expertise and experience that transcends our own. That said, no matter how Samsung adds S Pen functionality to the Galaxy Z Fold SE, it can only be a positive thing. After all, this foldable was previously meant to be a premium device and eliminating features that are otherwise accessible on the Z Fold 6 seems like the exact reverse of that. Still, if Samsung can develop a foldable with S Pen functionality that doesn't require a digitizer layer, then it may be handy for future foldable. Assuming, of course, that the loss of the digitizer doesn't come with any serious loss of functionality. Though we won't know out for sure until Samsung officially launches the phone and lets us stop concentrating so intently on rumors. That latter element might be essential, considering there isn't a single foldable device in North America that has a camera system capable of competing with that of flagships. The Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold has a poorer camera than the Pixel 9 Pro XL. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 has a worse camera than the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And the OnePlus Open has a worse camera than the OnePlus 12. Samsung is the greatest offender since their $1,900 folding phone uses the same back camera hardware as the $800 standard Galaxy S24. It's also continuing on its third year without adjustments. The newest tip from Blas says that the Galaxy Z Fold 6's 50 megapixels primary camera might be changed for a 200 megapixels sensor in the special edition. 
Either sensor could also feature 2x optical zoom. And it's conceivable, it is the same ISOCELL HP3 camera inside the Galaxy S24 Ultra. For now, it's unknown if the Special Edition would get telephoto or ultra-wide camera enhancements. If the Special Edition truly contains a 200 megapixels primary camera sensor and the marketing around that shift, it would make a lot more sense than the Galaxy Z Fold 6 SE branding. If anything, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 should become the inexpensive Samsung foldable we've always wanted, with the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition being the luxury edition. Samsung's current foldable is way too pricey for the capabilities it delivers, but the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition might be more deserving of that $1,900 price tag. Unfortunately, we don't anticipate Samsung to shave bucks off the Galaxy Z Fold 6 price tag very soon. In reality, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition could be confined to Korea and China, so it won't materially influence North American sales at all. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech news and updates.